told you it was easy. Like, honestly. Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. Today, we are starting another new series. Yes, this is the year of series and I want to have each one at least once a month so that I keep it fresh, keep it relevant for you guys. So the name of this series is way too easy because it's a bunch of different tips and tricks, things that you can do to your wardrobe that are super, super easy, but make a big and I mean big difference, you're gonna see. So I just did a video about how to make matching sets, like matching jogger sets, because we know that this is the year of the jogger. Started last year, of course, because we know we're indoors and hopefully we're able to get out more this year, but I think joggers are here to stay. We have become like accustomed to this joggers, like that is the new tuxedo, right? <laughs> Not quite, but they are super comfy to wear and they can be styled to kill, like literally, I'm gonna show you at the end. So I have this pair of Adidas, just regular track pants, but they're like the soft kind. So this tutorial is for any straight leg, soft pair of pants that you have, like uh, track pants or just like those jogging pants that are just straight leg without the elastic at the bottom. When I go to the thrift store, a lot of times I see those more than regular jogging pants because jogging pants are in right now. So the loose legs are just all over the place, but I'm gonna show you how you could cop those for cheap and turn them into jogging pants. All they need is a hem at the bottom and you can do it no so. Let's do it. All right, so we have our pants here. Like I said, this will work with any soft pants and you just need to get to the legs of them and you're going to need two pieces of elastic that will fit within whatever hem is there. Unless you want to have to put in a new hem, um, you wanna get elastic that can fit in the hem. I pulled this off of something else, some old garment, and I always keep, I like to pull it off and keep it for later dates, and this is a later date. As long as each of your pieces can slip over your ankle, um, stretch like this, then it is big enough. So I have those two pieces there, and also a big safety pin will make everything nice and easy. Now, the first thing you want to do is take each of your legs and you want to find one of the seams next to one of the seams and open up the hem right there. So here's my seam right here. So I can go ahead and start taking this apart right here. I have a seam ripper. Um, if you have maybe an X-Acto knife that may work or um, anything that'll just allow you to get down into those stitches. Just a few, just a few of the stitches across. You can take those uh, loose. You just need enough space to get the elastic in there. There we go. Now you'll want to open up your safety pin and don't put it like right on the edge. That'll cause your elastic to fray. What I like to do is fold it over and put the pin through that way then I know it's not gonna rip through my elastic. Now you just wanna push your safety pin through and you wanna make sure that your elastic stays flat underneath there. It's easy to get it all twisted up, but as long as you don't twist your pin, your elastic should stay nice and flat. And you also wanna watch and make sure that your tail doesn't come out, come, go through while you're pushing this through. And you just wanna push and then pull from the back. Push like pull the fabric up over the pin, pull it in the back and you keep working your way through until you get to the other side. Once you get to the end, you just go back out the hole with the safety pin. Once again, careful not to twist it and stuff like that. Now you can take your safety pin out. Next, you can either keep it, you know, keep the safety pin or I'm gonna stretch that out or you can just tie it. Especially, like I said, with this type of thin elastic like this. I'm just gonna double tie it, let it go back up into the hem, and that's that. And voila, it's done. No so, now you have a new pair of joggers. I told you it was easy, like honestly, so, so, so easy. But you guys know that here you're going to get some styling. So since I went to the trouble of turning on this camera, oh, we're going to play dress up. Yes, I am 
loving these. I am loving these. Now, I will say like I was trying to do like a casual look with them, you know, just playing dress up. And then I was like, hmm, I got some new sparkly shoes in the closet. Let me try them off. Like you wouldn't think sparkles would go with like an athletic wear, but yes, they do go. And I am here for it. Yes, with the camo button up on top. Yes, I am stepping out. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going out in jogger pants. Yes. So I think that these are absolutely versatile. And I think that that's what's making them blow up so much because people know that they're going to be able to wear these to bed and they're going to be able to one day wear them out. So you guys go get all them straight leg pants and have a blast turning them all into joggers. For more way too easy tips, definitely make sure you subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss one. And if you are interested in sharing your own upcycles, I do have a Facebook group. The link is in the description box below. I have an upcycle class, like an upcycle cycling club it's with the highest level of my membership group hit that join button down below to learn more and i have a ton of other upcycle videos for you right here all right i'll see you in the next one bye